Greetings and welcome back to the gallery. I am the curator and host, Robert Cooper. That piece of shit known as 2020 has finally left the building. And if you watched episode nine, you will know that 2020 absolutely sucked. When I started this vlog about a year ago in February of 2020, I wanted the focus not to be on me and my photography. Rather, I wanted to focus on my love for photography as an art form and my appreciation for other photographers whose work I'm a fan of. I was able to accomplish that goal somewhat. Despite the pandemic and all that comes with it, including the social distancing, the lockdowns, galleries not being open, having to wear masks, I was still able to visit a few galleries as well as interview several different photographers. For this episode, I am putting the spotlight on myself. I will be highlighting the photos that I took in 2020 despite the pandemic. Despite the shit show that 2020 was, I was still able to do several different photo shoots. I attended several different rallies against police brutality and racial equality, as well as some street photography documenting life under this pandemic. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my highlights of my photography from 2020. These first sets of photos were taken with my close friend, Lynette Johnson. They were taken in March of 2020, before the lockdown and before the mask mandate. Lynette is a gifted and brilliant poet, and we went with two different looks. The first look was a throwback to the golden era of hip hop, and the second look was evening wear. These photos were taken in Hartford on the south end off of Park Avenue. We took these in front of a taco truck, which by the way had excellent tacos, and then we went inside El Mercado. Inside is a supermarket, several different restaurants that cater to the Hispanic, Latinx, Mexican, and South American communities of Hartford, Connecticut. Another close friend of mine, Tarishi Midnight Schuler, he is also a brilliant poet and spoken word artist. We have been taking photos for several years working on a zine together. These photos tell a story and you'll have to wait till the zine comes out to find out what that story is. the summer I went down to New York City to shoot a video for dance hall artist Pretty DeGenero. In between the video shoot we took some photos for promotional purposes on the streets of New York City as well as a couple of parties in Queens. Another good friend of mine, Trudy, we took these photos at her place and also in the hallway and the stairway of her apartment building. Trudy is one of the most beautiful and sexy women I know and anytime we link up for photos, we always create magic. I took lots of photos of my beautiful empress Dee Collin. My empress is a gifted and brilliant poet as well as a visual artist, activist, and an actress.
summer, I was also approached to take photos for this project called Pride for BLM. These photos were taken at Washington Park in Albany to show unity between the LGBTQ community and the Black Lives Matter movement. After the murders of Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd, and Breonna Taylor, I attended several protest marches in Tampa, Florida, as well as Albany, New York. Final photos are when I was out and about in the streets of Albany, Hartford, or Tampa, just taking photos of life during the pandemic. That was it. Those are some of the photos that I took in that horrific year of 2020. Let me know what you think. Please leave a comment. Also hit the like button. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. For more of my photography, please head over to my Instagram page at rcooperphotography. And also visit my website, robertcoopermedia.com. This year, I plan on interviewing more photographers as well as visiting more galleries, as well as discussing other photography related topics. Thank you for tuning in. Blessed love.